One in four college students says they have credit card debt, according to a new survey by U.S. News and World Report. And with interest rates topping 20%, those students could be in debt for years. On your side, Christine Lazar joins us now with some of the biggest mistakes college graduates make. This is a tough one because you've got student loans, you're trying to pay for school. Well, and that, of course, compounds the fact yeah. they're paying off student loans, and at the same time, they have this credit card debt. What I was interested in most about this report, or surprised by, was what these kids are using that credit card for. Oh, Tell us. Okay, well, I imagined it would be for like splurges, but that's not what it is. So we'll get to that in a minute. But according to US News and World Report, about half of those college students with credit card debt, they're carrying a balance of less than $1,000. But even that amount could take three years to pay off if they're only making the minimum payments. Yes, I do. I pay it off every month on time, so if not, then you know what happens. With record high rates, the interest adds up quickly. And a new survey by U.S. News & World Report found that one in four college students is carrying credit card debt, and more than a quarter of them have credit card debt that exceeds $2,000. I mean, if you consider, they probably also have student loan debt they're going to have to pay off when they get out of college. You know, when you add credit card debt to that, you know, that can really put them behind as soon as they graduate from college. Credit card expert Beverly Harzog says the majority of students in debt didn't get there with impulse spending. Nearly half say they use their cards for school related expenses like books and fees. The other half say they needed the credit for living expenses. Florentino Gonzalez has about $1,200 in credit card debt. He says he uses it for the essentials like groceries. $1,000 is still a massive amount of money for me as of right now. Even with a part-time job. And when you get a $500 paycheck in two weeks, that isn't much in California. In the survey, college students were asked to define common credit related terms and they did not get a passing grade. Only 19% knew how a credit score is measured. I think this is where parents can really step in. You know, even if you don't use credit cards yourself, your child is going to be exposed to this. And so make sure they understand how personal finance works so that they're prepared. Harzog says the best way for students to minimize debt is to try to stop using their credit card until they can pay off the balance, create a budget and track their expenses, set up auto pay so they don't miss a payment, and finally know the terms of their credit card. And our expert emphasized that this study shouldn't dissuade college students from getting credit cards. They can be a great way to build credit, but only if they are used responsibly. And that's really where parents come in. It is never too soon to talk to your kids about budgeting, about credit. You know, the expert I talked to brought up a really good thing. You know, when you're sitting down creating a budget or when you're paying your bills, have your kids, even if they're mm. in elementary school, sit with you so they can understand the cost of things and also how you make it work and how you pay for them. That's a good idea. And I feel like all of us probably at one point or another in college, when you're broke, you pay, use a credit card to pay for things, but we didn't have this type of interest rate. No. Right. And have. we also didn't have the inflation we're right. dealing with. And yeah. I will say, you know, I'm going to admit, I remember my first job, I did a story about mortgage rates and interest rates going up. And there I was 21 years old and I had no idea what that meant. Yeah. So yeah. even you can be smart, you can be well-rounded, but you can't always have that financial literacy teach it in school. No, nope, they should. Thank you.